getting Zoom bombed in your meetings? Well, your first issue might be that you're using Zoom. You're gonna wanna stop using Zoom because in today's video, we're gonna show you how WebEx can protect you from getting Zoom bombed. And guys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you like today's content, give it a thumbs up. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys a couple tips and tricks on how you can prevent getting Zoom bombed on any WebEx call. So let's dive into it. So where we're gonna start is actually your WebEx user page, and we're gonna go play around with some settings. We're just gonna come in here, create a, what's called a template, and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna schedule your meetings like you probably normally do using Outlook. So from in here, what we wanna do is click on the schedule button. From here, we're gonna go to show advanced options, click on the scheduling options, and what we're gonna look for is we're gonna take care of unlocked meetings first. This is a big way that Zoom bombers come in. So you're part of an organization, you create a WebEx meeting, and you send it out to people. That link gets passed around to who knows who, it gets to the outside world and random people now have that link and can join your meeting. Because your meeting is unlocked, any guest can join that meeting as long as they have the link. What we want to do is we want to lock that down a little bit. I want to say a guest, so anybody that's outside of my organization that does not have a like email address that, that I have, you know, if you work at Cisco, it's probably something at cisco.com or if you work at coca-cola it's something at coca-cola.com if you do not have that we want to call you a guest and you're going to sit in the lobby until the host can look at you take a look at your name and say yep this person is supposed to be part of this meeting or not and then they're done they can't get in you might have the issue too where you don't even want to look at people waiting in your lobby because this is a top secret meeting. No guest should be in here. This is an internal only. It's only for internal employees. I just want to block any guests out. You click that. They just get a, a message that pops up saying, hey, you can't join this. You have to authenticate first to prove that you're part of the organization. Then you can get into the meeting. You can control it that way too. If you're having issues where you've got internal employees Bomb, Zoom bombing your meetings, you can set an automatic lock. So that means that everybody has to wait in the lobby. I could see this being useful in schools where you've got students from other classrooms that, yes, they have the same email address as everybody else. So they technically can jump in. They are not guests, but they shouldn't be in that room. So I can automatically lock my meetings either after five minutes. So I've got passing time. Uh, people can come into the meeting or I could say, I want to lock it from the get-go. I don't want anybody coming to this meeting unless I admit them. And in that case, we'll set that to zero. So that way, it's just completely locked. And me as the host, go in, take a look at who should be there, and admit those people in. And then the last option here, and we'll go through these. We'll show you how to create this template here and what this actually does is we have attendee privileges and I can go in here and I can edit this and one of the attendee privileges and a lot of times what happens with zoom bombing is people just start sharing random content either by accident or maliciously. I want to disable sharing content. So if I have that unchecked, what happens is nobody can share except for the host. But if the host during the meeting wants to allow somebody to share, they pass the WebEx ball to the person that they want to share, and now that person has the share option and they can share their screen. Once they're done sharing, the host can take that ball back or the host can give that to somebody else. This is actually the way that WebEx used to be, and then we kind of opened it up a lot more to allow uh, the freedom of sharing. But if you're having issues with Zoom bombers and you have people jumping on and sharing what they aren't supposed to, or maybe just people doing it by accident, you can disable this right inside the template here. So why don't we pick one here and I'll show what the guests wait in lobby. So again, this is regular users, people that are part of my organization, they can come on, but anybody else that's a guest, you're going to go ahead and you're going to sit in the lobby till I admit you. Now, what I can do here is I can actually save this as a template. So that way in Outlook, we can just call this template up and it automatically knows that we want that option checked. So I'm going to go ahead and click save as template and we'll call this one guest lobby guest wait in lobby click ok and now i have a new template created so let's go over to outlook 
and show you how to create this meeting. So I've got a brand new Outlook invitation set up right here and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add a WebEx meeting to it. Up at the top here, meeting template. I don't wanna pick the default because the default had stuff on it checked that I didn't really want. So what I can do is I can click that and go to guest lobby. That means that all my guests now are gonna be waiting in the lobby for me. And I can go ahead and click okay. And now that meeting is in here. So let's go and take a look at what happens when a guest tries to join this meeting. So it's time for the meeting. I clicked as the host on the meeting link. You can see me in here as the host. And let's go try being the guest and jumping on this meeting. And we're on the guest computer right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say join meeting as the guest here. Now you can take a look that it says you can join this meeting after the host admits you. So I'm going to go back over to the host now and we're actually going to meet this person. Admit this person. In the top right corner, we can see that Dave is waiting. I'm going to go ahead and click on admit. And now we see Dave inside the meeting here. If I go back over to Dave's computer, we can see that Dave is in fact in this meeting right now. Now let's try a couple other settings. So back over to my user page on WebEx here. We're gonna scroll down again and we already have this one template created where guests wait in the lobby until hosts admit them. Let's just take a quick look and see what happens when I click on guests can't join this meeting. Again, we're gonna save it as a template and we're gonna call it no guests. And let's go create the meeting and show you guys what it does. Okay, so we're gonna click on the add WebEx ball again inside of Outlook. And this time I don't want any guests. So I'm just gonna click on the template that says no guests and click okay. Send this out and then let's get into this meeting and see what happens to a guest. Now I'm gonna go ahead and join as a guest into this meeting because I got that meeting link. And the first thing you're gonna notice here is that it pops up and wants me to authenticate myself. So I put in here, you know, Dave, Dave North 3 at gmail.com, some bogus information, click next, and it wants to authenticate me on our single sign-on authentication here. I don't have an account, I can't get in, and it's not gonna allow me to get into the meeting because of this. So that's what happens when you select the option of no guests can join this meeting. And back over to our template creator here. We're gonna go in and we're gonna play with one more setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna allow all guests this time, but I'm gonna go ahead and set that attendee privilege to share content and uncheck it. That way, if you can join a meeting, great, but I'm not gonna allow anyone to share content. I am actually gonna control that. So let's go ahead and click OK, save it as a template again, and we'll just name it no no content, and now we have another template save. Let's go create the meeting, and we'll show you guys what that looks like. Back over to Outlook, we're gonna go ahead again, click on the WebEx ball at the top there, and we're gonna select our no content. So guests will not be allowed to share content in this meeting. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead, send this out, and let's show what that box does. So I am on the guests that just joined this meeting here, and we could take a look, the share button is grayed out. I cannot click this. So I am actually Dave, and there is no option for me to share. Let's switch over to the host and allow Dave to share. Okay, so on the host PC here, you can see that I have the share button because I am in fact the host. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to pass it to Dave because it's Dave's turn to do a show and tell project. Make him the presenter. Let's switch back over to his computer and show you that the share button is available. And there we go. Now the share button is lit up. I can go ahead, I can click that, and I can share some content. And the last one that I'm gonna show you is what happens if you forget to click the right template? You go in here, you're kind of in a rush, and you don't change your template, and it's just the default. And the default doesn't have the settings that you want. There actually is a way that you can go ahead and we can change that on the fly inside of a meeting. So let's go ahead, click OK on this invite here, send it out, again using the default template. 
So now we're in our meeting that, oops, I forgot to do all the security protocols that I wanted to, to prevent Zoom bombing. Well, there's still a couple things that I can do. I can go in here under more options and I can go ahead and I can lock the room. What that's going to do is nobody can get into the room. They're going to be admitted into the lobby and then up the top right here, I have to allow them into the room one by one. The other thing that we can do is we can go under participant here at the top and I can uncheck anyone can share. So again, that way I have to be the one as the host to pass the ball back and forth. And guys, with those couple tips and tricks, you really should be able to stop a lot of the Zoom bombing that's happening out here. Number one, if you're on Zoom, get away from it, get over to Webex. Number two, play with your settings, play with your templates. And number three, if you, get, if you forget to do it, don't worry about it. You can do a lot of this manipulation inside of the Webex meeting that you just created. So with that, uh, that's kind of a wrap for today's video. If you guys have any questions, if there's something I missed, if there's something you want to ask me, post it in the comment section below. I will get back to you. We'll talk about it. If there's something else that I you need to see, let me know. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks a lot.